a warm up, uh, side steps, going about three meters side to side, and just gently small footsteps in between. And if you were to play a forehand, and a backhand, and a forehand, and a backhand. This is to work on our balancing skills. We start with the ball on the bat. We have our legs slightly spaced apart, sort of knees in line with shoulders. So we've got quite a good base for balance. The, uh, the target is, can we get from a standing position down to a kneeling position? And if we can do that, even to a seated position. So at all times, I have my eye on the ball, down onto my knees, and I'm gonna try and sit down as well without dropping the ball. And if I can do that, I do the reverse. All the time I'm watching the ball. Beautiful. Bring the ball up into the air, catching with both hands. We throw the ball in the air and do a turn and still catch it. I call this dish targets because the target is to get the ball into a dish. Uh, just to help slightly, I do use a wall if that's possible, and four uh, tins. So I put two tins against the wall and a dish in front of them. And then I put two tins either side, so they're slightly curved around. Just bring the camera in briefly to get a close up of the setup. And back we come again. And I'm going to have a couple of practice shots and see if I can get the ball to stay in the dish. So here we go. Unlucky. That's the target. I'm now going to practice playing some backhand shots against the wall. To start with, I'm going to drop the ball, then hit it, then catch it. So if I'm playing right-handed, I drop the ball with my left, hit it against the wall, catch with my left. And probably do 10 of those. I'm keeping my knees slightly bent all the time, ready to play the shot. Also going to play forehand shots against the wall. Um, again, I'm going to drop it with my left hand and I'm going to hit it with my right hand. So drop, hit, catch, drop, hit, catch. Notice I'm more sideways onto the table this time rather than facing the table. Something that can help when you're playing a forehand. Um, it's actually illegal to keep your hand on the table in a normal game of table tennis, but in practice, it's quite handy Keep your hand on the table because it helps you to get more of a turn. So 